Tammy Sung is a blogger, podcaster, vacuum murderer, and <laughs> so she says, and a non-baby eating atheist. She leaves to the imagination, I think, the alternative. I'm glad she's the non-baby, because there's a baby back there, by the way. <laughs> Tiny little things, cute. Um, she also draws cartoons. Here to read, first reason not to get a tattoo, your mom probably has one. Please welcome Tammy Song. A few years ago, a bunch of people I knew started getting what I like to call scrats, sports car replacement tattoos. You turn 40, you need to reclaim a little bit of your youth, and you go get some ink. When one of my best friends showed up with a big blue butterfly in her hip, I knew the seepage into suburbia was complete. You see, I am not cool, and neither are my friends. Sorry, guys. So if tattoos are all the rage now, that's probably the biggest reason to run, run away. When we soccer moms and dads are doing anything, it's like a canary dying in a mine. Kind of like the suburbanation of ghetto fashion, or how we've taken over Facebook. <laughs> but I digress before I even get to the point of my actual story. You see, my niece just turned 18 and is suddenly into permanent self-enhancement. Extra ear piercing, belly button ring, and now tattoo. So while my brother-in-law was visiting, she sprung it on us that she wanted to get an elephant on her shoulder. Incidentally, my brother-in-law is a doctor who volunteers at a clinic where people can have their tattoos removed for free. <laughs> Frankly, I don't give two hot dams if somebody gives a gets a tattoo, but you'll probably never see me getting one because I already get with stuck with what I'd consider a sufficient quota of needles every year for unfun reasons. So, but what we wanted my niece to know was what exactly what she'd be getting into if she did decide on what my brother-in-law calls a permanent solution to a temporary fashion trend. Especially since said trend is now being taken over by old ladies. Anyway, my niece showed us the picture of the elephant she wanted. It's pink and yellow, pretty ornate, and kind of Bollywood. It looked exactly like this. Oops, what are we doing? Sorry, oops. We're off. We're off. We're totally off. And we're totally off. Sorry, guys. And we're off. There we go. It looked exactly like this, I swear. <laughs> okay, and the conversation went something like this. Brother-in-law. Well, just to let you know, yellow is the hardest color to remove. And when it fades or doesn't come off all the way, you'll end up looking jaundice. <laughs> but tattoos are so sexy. That's as badass, by the way. I'm not going to disagree with her here. I mean, who hasn't seen at least, a, hasn't had at least a few impure thoughts about Adam Levine? But then again, I just saw him in a golf shirt and a sweater, and I had this had the same effect. So you know, I don't think it was the tattoos. This, of course, has a hat. There is, of course, a hat bad boy element that goes along with tattoos. But what everyone fails to put together is that there's usually a hat. The, usually, there's a hot bad boy with hot bad boy skin and muscles underneath the tattoos to begin with. So no hairy chested dude with a beer belly has ever turned into an Adonis with the addition of some skin decoration, unless that skin decoration is Photoshop. <laughs> so that led us to our next point, brother-in-law. Well, I can tell you this, I've taken care of a lot of old people and I've seen a lot of skin and a tattoo on an old person is not attractive. Nope, still not in the right way. There we go. This is when my daughter, Elfie, who's nine and painfully logical, piped in. Elfie, do you even like elephants? Niece, well, sort of. 
Yes, it would seem that if you were going to get a permanent decoration on yourself, you might want it to be something that's unique and meaningful. For instance, I might have entertained the idea of getting my Chinese name, but that was before everyone from here to Mississippi started putting random Asian characters on themselves because they looked cool. Because let's face it, every combination of Asian characters has some kind of deep spiritual meaning. That's probably, there's probably no way it could be pointing you to the bathroom or poorly translating a quote from High School Musical. <laughs> Brother-in-law, whatever you do, just don't ever get anybody's name. Niece, oh no, I'd never do that. Brother-in-law, uh-huh, people always say that. But I'm talking about anybody's name, not even your kids. You know, you just never ever know. This is when my husband pipes in. Husband. I met someone who had her son's name on her tramp stamp. <laughs> Cue weird silence while we all hope Elfie doesn't ask us what a tramp stamp is <laughs> and why that's totally creepy. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> okay. There's Dumbo. There's the Dumbo tramp stamp. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> Would you guys just like me to scroll through these so that you can just keep looking at them? Okay, brother-in-law. I took a tattoo off a guy who had, will you marry me on his thigh? Apparently the answer was not good. <laughs> so this is Trisha, no. Jasmine, no. Harriet, no. Tom is looking good right now. So did we get anywhere with my niece? Doubtful. We can only hope she'll choose something that won't make her want to visit my brother-in-law in 10 years. And if she does, it's not some dude's name in yellow.